Yes, hi. <laughs> Hi, James. Yes, I, I, I actually just gone out in the car and I had to come back and phone you. Um, it's just been the most amazing experience for me. And I think actually the impact and the struggles are on the adults around the child, not on the child. OK, well, that's good to know, because I, I think, you know, people would have genuine concerns when presented with something so out of the ordinary, as you must have done, Grandma, when you Absolutely. were first told what was what the plan was for your for your grandchild. Absolutely. I, can, I know exactly where I was and how I felt when when I was first told. And I rather thought it would sort of die a death once they'd had the baby. <laughs> it's just a stage. Every, as every mother in history. <laughs> exactly, <has that. laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, and they didn't. And I, I, I kept a journal when my girls were little and I wrote in it when Hobbit was very, very young that I would totally respect however she raised her children. Gosh. So I got on board and I totally respected what they were doing. And I held this baby in my arms, you know, five days old and it was they were just a baby. <laughs> yes, they were of just a baby. They stayed just that baby until they were 11 months for me. Yes. Um, and I gradually moved from falling into it, he or she, mm. to they, and got really comfortable with they. Then, actually, and I'm a bit cross because in the media they say I found out when I changed the nappy. I didn't. We always, I always said, please tell me before I change a nappy. I don't want my response to be when I change a nappy, I see what's in their pants. No, that would be quite a revelatory. It's almost exactly. like an EastEnders. Exactly. <laughs> so, we don't so want any of that. Got, <laughs> so when it got to the stage that they wanted to leave the child with me for longer periods, yes. they told me. And it was really weird, James, because actually something really funny went on inside me. Yes. And I went home and I thought, oh gosh, you know, okay, I know this. And and I just had this desperate need to go back and see my grandchild again. Mm. And as soon as I saw them, they were just my grandchild. And I lost it again. Um, oh, I, I think I get that. I understand this. Because you were conditioned by your history yeah. and background. And so this was quite a big departure from everything that you'd of known. Course. and And then you had this information and, and you fell back into what you yeah. had lived your life prior to this child being born, thinking yeah, exactly and, and believing. That. Okay. But, but what's also really interesting, James, is when Hobbit was growing up, as a little girl, I, I gave her Lego, boys' toys, girls' toys, whatever. And she, she actually was really quite a girly girl. She loved yes. pink, she loved dresses, but she also loved climbing frames, being rough and tumble. And giving her the choice of what do you want to wear, what do you want to play with, it actually wasn't enough. Because I, it's funny, because after last night's TV programme, I stupidly looked on um, the uh, Inside Out Facebook page, oh, and there were, there were some really quite negative comments. Yes. And all the fury I used to feel when she was a little girl, that I used to go into school and they'd say, she's so unladylike, she won't mm. do what the girls do. Oh, and it's like, why can't she just be who she is? <laughs> so this is, you're, you're diffusing my observation that you can battle gender bias without necessarily keeping the sex secret you're you're, you're explaining why well actually you can't not in anything uh, like the same way can. i don't think you can and, and the truth is that when when this child is somewhere between two and three they learn you know that what daddy is and what mummy is and what they are they are not going to say no but you're a they you can't be a he or a she they will go what comes from the child. Their whole child rearing is baby led. Yes. And what? they will not make that child be anything that they don't want to be. But they just want to give it, as I think Hobbit said on the programme last night, if we just want to create a bubble for as long as we can where they're related to as just a little being. 